Okay, AP Stats, here we go. We're going to talk a little bit more about random variables, and this time we're going to apply the normal distribution when we combine these random variables. So, working through this problem, we have Tom and George playing in the club golf tournament. Their scores vary as they play repeatedly. Tom's score is normally distributed with a mean of 110 and a standard deviation of 10. So, there's our first random variable. So, we're going to let X represent Tom's score. So, we always write out what our X represents. And we know that X is normal with a mean of 110 and a standard deviation of 10. Then we have George, so we're going to let re Y represent George's score. And we know that Y is approximately normal with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 8. If they play independently, why do we need independently? This is so we can manipulate our standard deviations and our variances. What is the probability Tom will score lo lower than George? So we are looking for the probability that X is less than Y. Okay, now we actually don't have formulas or we don't know how to say one random variable is less than another. But what we do know is how to combine two random variables. So if we subtract Y from both sides, we can figure out the probability that Tom's score minus George's score is less than zero, okay? which means that Tom scored lower than George, or George scored higher. So now what we need is information about X minus Y. So we're, we know that X minus Y is going to be approximately normal. We just need the mean and standard deviation. So we're going to use our stuff about combining random variables to do that. So if we add in some symbols here, we have that the mean of X is 110, and the standard deviation of X is 10. The mean of Y is 100, and the standard deviation of Y is 8. So that's one way we can look at those. So now to find X minus Y, we need the mean of X minus Y, which is going to be the mean of X minus the mean of Y. So in this case, 110 minus 100. And so that is 10. So the mean of X minus Y is 10, which should be logical. Okay, so what is the difference in their scores? Well, if Tom averages 110 and George averages 100, their difference in their average should be about 10. So now we're going to try to find the standard deviation of X minus Y. However, we can't find the standard deviation directly. We must use our variance. So the variance of X minus Y, and we always add variances. If we look back at this slide, when we, all, when we combine our variances, we always add them. So this will be, even though we're subtracting the random variables, we want <coughs> the variance of X plus the variance of Y. So 10 squared, the variance of X, or the standard deviation of X squared plus 8 squared will be 164. So the variance of X minus Y is 164, which makes the standard deviation of X minus Y equal to the square root of 164, which is 12.8. So X minus Y is normally distributed with a mean of 10 and a standard deviation of 12.8. So now we are looking for the probability that X minus Y is less than zero. And we know now that X minus Y is normally distributed with a mean of 10 and a standard deviation of 12.8, which makes this 22.8 and makes this negative 2.8. So zero falls about right here. So we're looking for this area to the left, which is less than zero. So we're going to normal CDF. Lower bound is negative infinity. Upper bound zero, mean 10, standard deviation 12.8.
Type that in your calculator and you should get 0.217. Now we want to make sure we're answering things in complete sentences and writing things out correctly. So we're going to take the question and turn it into an answer. So I am out of room, but please write this down. Your answer is going to be the probability that Tom will score lower than George. So the probability that Tom will score lower than George is 21.7%. So take their question. What is the probability Tom will score lower than George? And turn it into an answer. The probability that Tom will score lower than George is 21.7%. So there you have it. There's you combining our random variables. So first combine them in a way that's appropriate to then make a new normal distribution and calculate your probabilities based on that. Have a great day.